how being single in your 30s is totally different than being single in your 20s. They told me. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. Comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description below. Next, I will not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about why being single in your 30s is totally different than being single in your 20s. All right. The reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of you guys out there that are new to the man cave world, new to the Internet, new to this atmosphere where you learn about women and you learn about yourself. A lot of you are in your 20s and you're getting closer to your 30s. All right. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the difference as to once you turn 30, things are going to change like almost immediately and it's going to change overnight. First thing you need to understand, when you turn 30, you're going to have a psychological thing that happens to where it really hits you that you're getting older. 30 is going to be there. See, when you're in your 20s, 20, 21, 22, 23, as long as you can always say the word 20, you always feel younger. But when you say the word 30, then 40 is right around the corner because people that look 35 actually starts looking 45. So a lot of you guys between that 25 and your 30 era, this is going to be a real crucial time for you. But there's going to be some changes that happen with you that you got to pay attention to. That you have to understand why most of the coaches are over the age of 35. You have to have the experience. And this is why. First, when you're in your 30s, you don't date with emotion. You date with logic. All right? It's totally different. In your 30s, your woman may not have to look good. She has to connect with you psychologically in order to get you going. She has to be inter interested in the same things that you are. See, when you're in your 20s, you're doing everything off emotion because you don't know yourself. A lot of you guys that are beta, when you turn 30, you're going to start having an alpha mindset. And you're going to, as you get older, you're going to become more wise. And the mistakes are not going to be there because you're not going to have any emotion invested. Right now, you guys are having puppy love here, puppy love there, puppy love this and puppy love that left and right. And a lot of you are taking these relationships really, really serious because you think that's the only thing that's going to make you happy. When you look at like YouTube and you see popular YouTubers, all of them are couples. So Generation Zen are not realized, Generation Z is not realizing that the couples that they see online are placed together in order to make some money. Those relationships are false. So this generation is trying to run out there and grab these relationships because they think that's the real reality. No, when you turn 30, you have gained the knowledge to a woman. Now you start to make your adjustments. And the first adjustment that you're going to make is not even looking at a woman's beauty because you start looking at logical things. Next, in your 30s, the dating pool is smaller. And the reason why the dating pool is smaller is because a lot of these women that are single are going to have three to four kids. A lot of these women are going to be out of shape. They're going to look ugly. I told a young dude the other day, he says, man, you look good for somebody close to 40. I was like, I know, but I thought about that in my 20s. I started eating healthy in my 20s. I started going to the gym in my 20s. I chose not to have kids and get married in my 20s. So I can be almost 40 years old and still continue to look good, wake up every day and run, walk, go to the gym and live like a teenager. Why? Because the dating pool is smaller. In your 30s, you're going to see who was meant to be it and who wasn't. Everybody in their 20s can act like they popular. They can act like they the man. They can act like they this. It's easy to fake it. You cannot fake it in your 30s. Your 30s is going to give you a clear view of who you really are. Next, you become more picky. In your 30s, you are going to become very picky. And the reason why you're going to become very picky is because you're going to have a lot more to lose. See, in your 30s, you're not playing games about no money. 
you all about your money. So everything you do is going to be based on your money. So when it comes to a woman, you're going to always be thinking about how much money you're going to be shedding out for that woman. Because you will shed out some money. You're going to have to pay for dates. You're going to do these things unless you just get some bust downs. In order for you to arrange bust downs, you still got to have money. It's that simple. A woman doesn't want to be a bust down to a regular guy. She wants to be a bust down to somebody that has something. But you don't want the bust downs. You're going to be extremely picky. So you're going to be in less relationships, which means you're going to go through less emotional things, less trauma to the brain, the happier you're going to be. Next, you're more relaxed without dating. When people in their 30s and guys in their 30s at a red pill, they're more relaxed without dating because now they already have their day planned out. They've already found a way to distract themselves whenever they are alone. A problem with a lot of you guys is you don't know how to distract yourself whenever you're by yourself. When you're by yourself, all you do is just lay on the bed and browse the internet, finding something to do, emailing women, waiting for them to send you back a message. If they send you back a message, you get all excited and then you're like, all right, what can I say to her to make her read it? And then she just, I know she's going to call me back. And then you guys are sending her a paragraph thinking that you could talk your way into getting this girl online. That's what a lot of you guys are doing. But in your thirties, you're going to have a reason why you sit at home. And it's going to be hard for you to just sit there and just twinkle your thumbs and just stare at the phone because you're going to have more responsibilities in your 30s, especially, especially if you're on your grind. If you're on your grind, there's no such thing as sleep. All right. When you are on your grind, there is no such thing as sleep. And that's going to be the thing right there that's going to separate the 20s and the 30s. In the 20s, you can make all the mistakes you want. In your 30s, you can't make no mistakes. Next, you're probably going to decide that kids are not for you. Majority of people in their 30s are going to decide if they want kids or not, or if they already have kids, if they want more or not. When you're young and you're in your 20s, a lot of you guys are, are trying to have kids faster, but what you're having kids, you're not having kids to grow anything. You're not trying to build an empire. You're having kids to try to trap some women so you always have some in-house puss. And a lot of women out there are trying to trap a good-looking guy so they have pretty kids. Somebody is always trapping somebody when it comes to kids. There is no such thing as an accident. Somebody has to go nine months. A woman has to go nine months. Carrying something and squeeze them out of a hole that big. That requires thinking, knowing that. Women know, hey, I'm going to be carrying a baby here and, 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 and what all comes with it. They know that they win in the end. So in your 30s, you're going to know, all right, I don't want any more kids or I don't want kids at all. The thing about dating in your 30s is, is that the man actually has the advantage because he's gained the knowledge. The woman loses her advantage because she becomes more sensitive as she gets closer to the wall. So all you guys out there in your 20s, my advice, get to your 30s and then go back and grab a woman in your 20s to mold up. If you can find a woman to mold up. But for the most part, we're going into a world of separation between men and women. And people are just going to become more happier living alone. All right. Comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys got the message. Hasta la vista.